My name's Meg, and I'm traveling with Mac on the back of his motorcycle through Mexico to renew our visas. And this was my day. Let's go back. So this is where we woke up this morning. Um, we came and had a wine tasting at uh, Valley Girl Vino slash El Corcho Rosa uh, with some charcuterie yesterday and they offer free free camping overnight. Um, so that was really nice, met uh, the winemakers and they offered for us to have a little, uh, a little fire here too, but um, my throat's a bit sore, I'm not feeling that great, so. Um, yeah, we just kind of had an early night camped out here. Um, but yeah, it was really nice. I was really excited to um, taste some wine again because anyone doesn't know I was, uh, I spent two summers parked, uh, had Mo parked in a vineyard in, in Canada. And it was really awesome. I learned a ton there. Also working at a liquor store and it was just really nice to, to come and taste some Mexican wine. And yeah, so another, Nice day today, it was a beautiful drive yesterday. Going to head to San Quintin, uh, near the volcanoes there and uh, stop at Ensenada on the way to have a look around and get some fish tacos. Uh, yeah, so looking forward to another awesome day. My, uh, nice little seat. I'm probably more comfortable than Mac right now. <laughs> It was around 10.30 a.m. by the time we set off, which we figured would be pretty good timing to stop in Ensenada for lunch. Now that we had our new six month tourist visas, it was definitely some stress off our shoulders. Although because we were still trying to make it back to La Paz where Mo is parked in time for Escapar Van Life Festival, we still had to cover a decent amount of distance each day. So unfortunately, we didn't get to explore Ensenada much, although it was super beautiful to ride through along the Malecon. And I saw one of the biggest Mexican flags that I have ever seen. Now this was the taco stand that Mac first went to when he crossed the border and raved about it. Okay. So I was super excited to try these fish tacos. The ones from day three are still the best. And we were back on the road. I'm not sure why I look so bored here, but maybe it's because we hadn't rounded the corner to this view yet. These rolling green hills were in such contrast to our ride yesterday, and really in contrast to the majority of Mexico that I'd seen by this point. Now, I know this is quite different to my regular content, but it's something I wanted to share because Riding on the back of a bike through all of these windy roads is a really different experience and this just wouldn't have happened if I wasn't living bus life in Mexico. And now we've got our new six month tourist visas. It's super exciting to know that I have all this extra time to travel around mainland Mexico in Mo. Made a quick last minute stop for some supplies and muffins for the morning. Then we're on the final stretch. This part of the ride was actually pretty chill and not what I expected with all of these greenhouses everywhere. But some parts were a bit sketchy the further we went on, the more I was hoping we were going to be able to find where we were planning to camp. I don't know exactly which one I'm supposed to follow here. That one.
<laughs> oh good. Coming up this is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Oh we gotta back up. So that's something. <laughs> Good. Okay. You don't want to get down this little bit first? There's lots of different roads to kind of get down here. I think we might have picked not the best one, but just got sandy and bumpy. Well, it looks like it gets a little bit better further down. And I think this spot should be pretty worth it. It's just uh, kind of near in between some volcanoes here that you can see. I think that one over there is one. Yeah, I'm just going to walk this little bit until it gets a little easier. Does that mean I got a lot of stuff on me? Okay, so this seriously was the last leg. It's a really, really beautiful ride along the coast. And I think we timed it pretty well, even though we left a little late and had a bit of the time spent getting the bike back up and organized. But the light was so nice and it meant we had ample time to set up not in the dark and hopefully go check out one of the restaurants. one of my favorite shots from that day. The sunset was so spectacular and the sound of the waves just lapping against the shore was super nice after a long day. After setting up and watching the sunset, we realized it was getting late and we needed to go get some food. Oh my gosh. And that was day eight. <laughs> Roar and fire. Be sure to subscribe to see the last four days of this trip and the rest of my bus life adventures in Mexico.